Little Gonzo on the camera. Got our man, Mr. Mr. Colby, back. Okay. How'd you do overnight, my friend? Uh, slept good, actually. You did? Okay. Can I take this off at least because he has a cool Yeah, let's take that off first. We're going to take that dressing down and see what we've got. We're also going to work on some of those actinic keratoses that you have. Yes, sir. Right there. He's trying to be nice and helpful. No, you are nice and helpful and all dressed up in your Christmas outfit. Mm -hmm. Did you see, Mr. Colby, how Gonzo was all dressed up in a Christmas outfit oh, today? Oh, she's not by herself. No, she's not. We have quite a few, don't we? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we're going to freeze these little spots first. Here we go. Uh, let's circle them. Did I bring my pen? Here's a pen. We're going to pick out the worst ones. We're going to uh -huh. do one, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to knock seven out for you. How's that sound? Oh, good. And next time you come in, we'll pick the worst ones out then and do those also. Okay. And tomorrow when you come in, we're going to work on some of these pours of wine or you've got. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do a freezing. Are you ready? Yes. You had this done before, right? Mm -mm. It stings just a little bit, but it's not terrible. You it's ready? Terrible. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath. Here we go. One, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, shut the door, five, six, pick up sticks, right? Yeah. Seven, that's eight would be close the gate, nine, ten, big fat hen. That's how I learned them. I don't know. Did you ever hear that old one, two, buckle my shoe thing? No, I don't think that was invented until after I was out of school. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? They invented that for my group? <laughs> you young kids. How was it? Was that real bad? No. It's really not that bad, is it? Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this packing out. Breathe. Take a deep breath. Ready? There we go. Hey. I think that I forgot to get... You forgot to get some more lidocaine, but you know what? We're going to be okay because this really did a good job of staying open. That hurt coming out? A little. Just a tad? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to cut off a piece of fresh, and we're going to put it back in there. And then we're going to refreeze you today. Okay. Did you get any more Christmas? You told me you were done with your Christmas shopping, didn't you? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's right. Just breathe. Deep breath. Does that hurt? Yes. It does. Okay. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to get a little lidocaine. I'm going to let you hold the camera. Just, uh, we'll, we'll stop for a second. We'll be back going again. All right, we've got a little lidocaine here. I'm just going to squirt some of this numbing medicine in there into that raw wound that I was going to be so rude and just put that packing in there without treating it first. Now, we started doing this some time ago, and it really does make a difference. We'll let that sit. Let's do our refreezing again. What do you think, Gonzo? Go right in. Sounds good. All right, you ready to go again? Mm -hmm. Now you asked a question. What was it? How these are gonna? What these will do? Mm -hmm. What these will do is they'll they'll get red and angry and swell up a little bit for a few days. Get kind of proud, and then they'll dry up and fall off. Mm -hmm. You don't have you don't have to do anything with them. One, two, three. Four. You okay? Mm -hmm. Five. Six. And here comes number seven, way over here. Seven. Yeah, it's like a little frostbite you get there. Okay. We're having our little office Christmas party today. All right, that lidocaine's had long enough to work, so we're just going to slowly push this packing in. This is uh, iodoform impregnated gauze. That's all it is. And you okay? No, yeah. It's better now, isn't it? Yes. That lidocaine works fast. You know what? That's about all we're going to need. Let me trim that off. It didn't take nearly as much. You're healing fast. Yeah, we're going to have a little wine with our uh, afternoon office party today. I saw a bottle in there somewhere. Yeah. So that'll be nice. There you go, little gonzo. Time for me to dress up. Mr. Colby, how are you? Fine, Feeling fine. good? Feeling better. All right, fantastic. We're going to put another dressing over that, and then we'll see you back tomorrow. Okay. Again, at your convenient time. Okay. All right, my friend. Bye. We're going to start today. This is your third visit on some of these things we're doing for you here. Uh, the uh, epidermoid cyst that was infected that we removed. We're going to unpack it. We're going to remove that packing. And let's take a look at it today. 
You still taking your antibiotics, right? Yes, sir. Good. Any fevers or chills? No, sir. Any pain? Not really. Not really. Okay, we're gonna just pull this dude out of here. Breathe. Good work, little Gonzo. That dressing looks very good. You can see in there, Gonzo, nice clean wound. Okay, so guess what? We don't have to repack this for you today. Okay, good. We're gonna just put a gauze on it and put a dressing over it, and the reason being is it's staying open by itself, so we don't have to worry about it closing up and forming a new abscess or anything like that. Okay. So we want to do that, keep it open, right? We want to keep it open. So now what you can do is you can take the dressing off when you take a shower and let water get on it or whatever. Just don't mess with it. Okay. Now, if you have any problem with it down the line, just let us know and we'll let you know what to do. But just put gauze and right. and, and tape over the gauze. You betcha, because it is going to ooze just a little bit. You'll get just a little, you know, kind of what we call serous fluid, which is basically just... Uh, body fluid essentially okay. that'll just leak out onto it while it's healing and and eventually it'll go ahead and granulate and there'll be like pink healthy tissue will kind of grow in from the bottom okay okay so we're going to stop our video and then we're going to put this dressing on dressing on and then we'll we'll resume okay back up again all right mr colby we're live again all right. and we're going to point out here uh these are the actinic keratoses that we uh treated with the liquid nitrogen yesterday mm -hmm. and you can see they've got some redness around them now so they're already starting the the um the uh, process of dying off, I should say, uh, the frostbite process, you could say, too. And in a couple of days, these will swell up even more, and then they'll dry back down, and they should just peel off or fall off. Okay. All right. So what we've got here, I've circled some new little lesions for people to see here. These are really small for the most part, but they're pores of whiner. And really all that is is just a retained blackhead. They're not dangerous, but... Since you've been so good to come in and let us uh, video you, we're going to take these off for you. And uh, as a bonus, how's that sound? Oh, wonderful. Yes, that's what I'm saying too. And after this, unless you have a new problem, you won't have to come back in. Yeah. How's that sound? That sounds really good. Of course, you're welcome to come in. You just don't have to. You know, except to bring Gonzo a Christmas gift. Okay. I think we made that one clear, right, Gonzo? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we've Did got Gonzo a... had fun at the party yesterday? I had a blast. Okay. Mr. Gonzo came by, actually. Yeah. All right. I've got a little uh, lidocaine with epinephrine, just a really small little injection. I'm going to do on all of these so that uh, we can squeeze them out without causing you a bunch of pain. Mm -hmm. You should barely feel these. Mm-hmm. Just like a little, a little bee sting, mm -hmm. teeny tiny. How was that? Mm -hmm. Did you even feel it much? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. A little bit's okay. I'm using a tuberculin syringe, which I believe has a 30 gauge needle on it. It's tough to even feel the stick, right? 27. Okay, well, that's like a 30. 27 is very close. I'm correcting you. Yes, I know. I have no problem with that. You correct me all the time. It's my turn. Okay. I'm just kidding. You gonna be watching the game this weekend, Mr. Colby? You betcha. You gonna be rooting for the Colts? <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> Somebody other than the Colts? Yes. Okay. Well, that one started. Hey, okay. sir, I'm like using your back as a. <laughs> she's she's leaning on you a little bit there. All right, we're gonna make a little nick here, and that's why we used the the lidocaine so that we could do this part here good this one's a larger one you have up here in the mid upper back probably had this one a long time this one not real terribly big come the other direction with it too can you see little gonzo i want to get close you get a good picture I'm trying to and then i'm going to come way over here Sorry if my hands are shaky. It's just you're so old, you know, you get shaky when you get old. old. Yeah. All right, let's come back over here. Let's see if we can get this first one to jump out. A little pressure on it there. Do you feel much there? Mm-mm. There we go. A little bit coming out there. That one wasn't very big at all. It just kind of looked bigger than it was. Push it again down. Does that hurt? Or mm -hmm. you just feel the pressure? 
Doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt. All right, let's get this one here. Oh, yeah. The big one coming out there. Push again this direction. Make sure it's empty. Yep, it's empty. Well, maybe right there. Gotta make sure they all come out. Now, if you feel any pain, you let me know. I can always give you a little more medicine. Let's well, there's this. no pain at all. Let's get this one right here. No pain at all? Mm -mm. Gonzo, did you give him the really good stuff? Yeah, I liked him. You must like Mr. Colby. There we go. That one came right out as well. These are fairly shallow for the most part, so they're coming right out. Yeah, they're, they're not all... Oh, this one's really big, Gonzo. You there. Did that come out of there? Yeah, this one was really a large one. Now, did you feel a little more pressure on that one? Not no, much. you did not, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's empty. Good. Let's get this one right here. Can you see, little Gonzo? Move the sharp object. Yeah, we don't want you to get cut. Push them from the other side there. Oh, did you see that one come out? Yeah. Yeah, that one's coming. It looked like a worm when it came out. Get a little bit more right there. You're going to be like a young man again. We'll get these things all removed. Okay. Let's get this one. This one was coming out just with the injection. Look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Go a different direction, make sure it's all out of there. You're getting a back tune up, aren't you? Well, yes, sir. <laughs> and we're gonna get this one over here. It's kind of far off, but we may not this one may not show up that great on the video. Well, it's Friday. It's the Friday before Christmas. It's the 18th of December. Just for reference for folks watching maybe watching this months down the road when this is all taking place that looks fine now let's find some that we didn't inject some smaller ones and see if we can get them out too like a little one right there you see that one little gonzo mm -hmm. you may feel a little bit on these mm -hmm. they're really small so we're not going to inject them because the the sting of the injection is probably the same of just taking these out for you you okay? Yeah, it's fine. If it hurts too much, you just say, hey, that one hurt, Doc, and mm -hmm. we'll immediately stop. You got a little whitehead right there. Got that for you. Yeah, wait, let's see if we get that right there. There's one there. I think it's one of those things where if you just keep looking at it, you probably find another one here or there. Mm -hmm. Little bitty ones. That one didn't sting? A little bit, not much. Does it, want me to get another one here? Kind of addictive taking these out. My turn. Just Your turn. Should have let Gonzo do them for you. She'd be good at it. There we go. There you go. You look pretty uh, spruced up there, <laughs> except for the red spots all over and the big dressing on your back and, <laughs> and the little blood stains. You look great. That's it. <laughs> when I get up, I'll ask. ask you. Hang on, hang oh, on. Okay. You want to ask a question? No, I, I got to get up. Okay, all right, all right. So we're going to stop the video here and we want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Hey folks, you spoke and we listened. Here's what you had to say about Meta 7. I love it so much. It gives me so much energy during the day. I've noticed a change in my hair, my nails, my blood pressure. There's no doubt that it, it's, it's a benefit to me. It gives me more stamina. And it can actually help you lose weight. Now, I haven't taken a nap in six months. That's right, Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I used it to help wean myself off caffeine and energy drinks, and my productivity has been very high lately. It's natural, it's amazing, I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day, I've worked 12 hour shifts. I just go, go, go all day, it makes me feel great, I love it, and um, take it, it's wonderful stuff.
If you haven't tried Meta 7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description. Okay, so you've been taking Cocoa Skin. Been taking Cocoa Skin and uh, Meta 7 Wonderful. for probably a year and a half now. Okay. Love them both. I highly recommend them. My skin is great. I feel moisturized. I, I'm, they're wonderful. Take your hat off for me. Oh, thank you. I want everybody to see how pretty your skin is. My hair's oily. Oh, your hair's wonderful. So, have you noticed that you've lost some crow's feet or anything like that in particular? Or A little bit, a little yeah. Bit? A little bit. Okay, all right. Because you do look like I mean, you, you're glowing almost. You have a real natural look about you. So, well, wonderful. I'm glad you're liking the Cocoa Skin and the Meta 7. I take them both. Highly mm -hmm. recommend it. Thanks. <laughs> Make sure to check out Cocoa Skin Plus for thicker nails, healthier skin, and better hair. And check out Meta 7 for more energy throughout the day. There are Amazon links in the description below.